All right, we're currently at Han River. Just want to touch on the UK. What did you think of the the UK, the Michelin? Was it worth? Yeah, for UK, yeah, but like UK? UK bibimbap, I don't think it's the best one. Personally, I thought it was really good, and for Michelin, that you was... can't you can't like fucked up that you know food. Really? That's why I, I'm uh... saying it, like, it's not the best because you can't like fucked up. If you want to eat Michelin and you like UK, like that's the spot to go because it's cheap and they serve you fast and but UK was really good. Yeah, the UK was really good. So I think it's worth the hype. The line wasn't even that long, like 30 minutes maybe. Right, so this is the stop you want to get off at for Han River. We're gonna eat a bunch of food because it's mad cold out, starting with instant ramen. We're gonna assemble the ramen right now. Normally you do it by yourself, but I think they're just like doing it for you. Uh, Here. Speed it up. Yeah, because there's many people. Is it pro? Yeah, because she's doing like one, two, three, four. Even like five. Extra. Yeah. Oh my god. We can get some more food too. It's so fucking cold, man. We're gonna get some more food before we sit down. Alright, now we're gonna rent like blankets and seats, right? Mm -hmm. This is the sauce you dip it in. This whole thing is like less than $20. And you want to order more? Then what? Then beef. Then if you ask it, they're going to do it. This looks spicy, but it's not. You're not eating. Like the A24 movie. Um, we just got a refill. It's pretty new to me. Bring hot pot, basically. I like that you start with the hot pot and then the noodles after and then the rice. Got some potato in there. Had to take the glasses off because it was fogging up the lenses. You get me, fam? It's almost that time. I'm gonna add a little more broth though. Actually, I'm getting kind of full. It's a super hearty dish. Get her gone. Everybody's favorite. Try it. Very clean tasting. Very light. All right, we just got out of that meal. What is that called? The official name? 
something shabu shabu, basically like Korean hot pot. And that whole meal was like 20 bucks. It's like damn near three courses because you eat the like hot pot portion and then they throw the udon noodles in and then you do a rice at the end. So very, very filling. <laughs> like why, well, you know what? Why people are doing like this stuff? Like, cool. Well, like, cool. Like, cool. Like, cool. Who's youngest? That was Korean beef sashimi at a pocha. Oh my god, that was really fucking good. Everybody's out drinking because it's a Friday night. There's no English on the menu, so you better bust out Google Translate or something. Okay. Are these for one person or? I think it's fine. That's the cake I want. The pink one. It looks pretty small though. Wine, cocktail, ice cream, sorbet. Soda, juice, coffee. Oh wow. Got myself an Americano. It's like a tomato and cheese. It's the pink cake. This is the matcha latte. Can we eat this too? Wow, that looks really good. It's still really crispy. We're not gonna come back here. I don't wanna order more stuff. What is this called? Something corn? Wow. This one tastes too like Chinese to me. In the same building, they have like, there's a menu in here. This whole area in the building is just like run down. But that's kind of the vibe. My name. Your name? Which one is my name? That's the menu? Ooh. Ooh. We're waiting to eat some samgyeopsal. This will be our dinner. It's like 7 p.m. right now. This place is busy juking in there. What kind of mushrooms? Uh, like rocks in the water. These rocks are gonna get really hot. I've never seen this yet either, actually. Like putting rocks down? It's kind of out of pocket. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. It's a really nice char. You're going crazy right now. I said I wasn't gonna get eat Sangyeopso in Korea because I eat it so often, but how can you not? This concept is insane. Gonna enjoy the rest of this meal with the lady. Just got out of that very smoky restaurant. The concept is insane. Baby, it was like all Chinese people in there. The concept's insane. I wouldn't come on a Saturday because it's just too busy in there, but we got in and out pretty quick. Another thing worth mentioning was that we ordered three different meats and the total for everything was 34. And added a mushroom platter. 
total was $34. In the States, they'll rinse you. That's $100 right there. Maybe more. $100 before like tax and tip. <laughs> so fried. Yo, yo, yo. I want to eat this. Free drink while we wait. Such a long queue. There's still like three teams ahead of us. How long have we been here? Probably like over 30 minutes, maybe? We even did like a walk around the area. So it says not to mix the rice. That's why we add the broth. Which one is that? Chicken? Fish. That's the one. I also ordered the chicken. Because we're like one third of the way through. That's really good. We just left the restaurant. It was good, but I don't know about like, I don't know, the instructions were like unclear, so my rice bowl was like messed up. So it's all good. <laughs> For dinner, we're eating bosom and oysters. Look at this narrow alleyway. Is this bosom street? Yeah, literally bosom. You guys heard it. This is bosom street. Gotta eat some banging ass bosom. Oysters and bosom. What is this? <laughs> the Ajushi's here, loud as hell. Remember that bosom? So this place, there's a bit of a queue. Um, they're famous because they have a truffle oil, but basically they're placed right next door to another like cutlet spot and There's no queue no business really so That's a telltale sign These are just regular So combo pork, cheese pork, tiger prawn Curry Two curries That's true about $35 for everything we ordered here. Quite quite a lot of food. Oil, Himalayan salt. Pepper. So it's gonna come with more like um, condiments. Yours looks crazy too. Kato here is banging, bro. I'm the tonkatsu killer. 
fucking destroyed it. <coughs> so much variety, but high quality variety. Even the rice was smacking. And for that price point, it's just nuts. Welcome to Korea. Kaja. We chilled at home all day. It's Friday. I'm just not built to be going out all the time, but you know, we need days where we just stay in. So we're heading to get dinner. And some of my favorite food in Korea is actually like the really simple stuff, like sanggap kimbap, kimbap, you know, sushi. But today we're gonna eat sampap which is like rice balls basically wrapped in sam which is like lettuce and this place i guess they make their own doenjang is fire no it's not fire it is fire it's yum <laughs> it's fuego yeah it's fuego also we tried to come here last time but they were closed Purple cabbage, perla leaves, baby cabbage. Oh, what are these? And then red lettuce. This is like gobengi? No, we call it udong. Udong? Actually, it's pork. Pork? You, you try it, my mom made it. It's just uh, um, a. So the concept here is you're just mixing things with rice and eating it with. The uh, lettuce. My choice is the perilla leaf and purple rice. Marinated pork. Look at that. The pork. This is also cabbage. What kind of cabbage? White cabbage? Steamed cabbage. You know, like the cabbage salad, huh? Alright, I'm back, starving, dinner time, and we're gonna eat gopchang, which is basically grilled intestines and other, other organs. Last time I ate it, which was my first time, we did all you can eat. So this time it's gonna be a little more uh, luxurious, more premium gopchang. As you can imagine, it's not cheap because you have to clean it very thoroughly. What is this, by the way? Oh. And then how about this stuff? Soy, I imagine. Just like some of their sauce that they make here. This right here is like crack. Oh my god, I can't wait. I need to eat some right now. I'm so hungry. What'd you ask for right there? Green pepper, spicy pepper. All intestine? Yeah, all intestine. Some places you have to grill yourself, but here they grill everything for you. It's kind of off pudding when you say intestine, but so far. So, what I just ate was beef heart. It's gonna take some time for a lot of people to warm up to the idea of eating beef heart, but so good. Look, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. The rice cake is so crispy and chewy. Mm. Curry and cheese powder? Mm-hmm. That looks delicious. Everything's ready? Or just the cut up piece? Whenever you grill the chives, they like take on new flavors. All the pieces are done. It's time to go to town. I'm curious about the sausage though. Anyway, they make the sausage in house. Hmm? What is this one? Makchang. Makchang. A little bit of ogre. This one's pretty good. Whatever this one is. Oh, that's his makchang. Earlier one? That was tijang. Sorry. Tijang? Okay, this one's makchang. Mm. Okay. Oh, my God. oh, look at that oil. It's like spilling everywhere. This one looks like straight intestine. Keep it simple. Soya. Some chives. You didn't like it before. 
Yeah, before I didn't like it. This one has the strongest odor. This one's the least approachable, I think. The rest, like, if you didn't tell me it's intestine, I wouldn't even know. We're drinking Coke Zero because I'm only three days out from my tattoo, so really don't want to be drinking alcohol, but soju would pair so nicely with the gokchang. Highly recommend that if you enjoy alcoholic beverages. We ordered a little more because we're both um, hungry. 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 We only ordered our... What is hungry in Korean? Hungry? Begopa. Jinja begopa. So we both just selected our favorite cuts and we reordered that. After this, we're gonna do the bokumbap. Bokumbap is fried rice. No, you already you know. know. What a meal. Wow. That everything there came out to about $70 USD. Listen. Was it good, right? So good. So good. Kimchi here is supposed to be really good. Okay. Yeah. We ordered another pancake because the potato pancake is what they're famous for. Actually, I don't know about this one either. Because this, this is made out of potato, and the texture is like a hash brown. No, the texture is like rice. I don't know about that. And it's not salty at all. It tastes really plain. Let's get one thing straight. There ain't nothing Michelin about that joint. Not the ambiance, not the service, and for damn sure not the food. I literally feel like we got scammed. Like, the margins on the food that they're making is insane. Ingredients are so cheap. They're not doing anything special. Literally, whoever gave them a Michelin star needs to be investigated because there's some shady business going on. That was just, uh very disappointing I would not recommend going there like just save your time do something productive for our late dinner we're going to it's a kimchi bar yeah on 6.5 is what it's called G Dragon did his guando release here uh, so earlier planning. this month and this is know. the last reservation before I leave so we were lucky enough to snag it and yeah they require us to buy a bottle of wine and I think it's a rotating wine menu also. 6.5. Video like with your iPhone. It's like that. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird. Made in Korea. Perfect. So we just got our wine and I was a little confused because he had me try it and then when I told him that like I wanted to change the bottle, he's like, well what about this one? I'm like, if you're gonna like let me sample it, then I'm assuming like I can change it. Otherwise, why are you like having me try it, you know? We just got out from our dinner, killed the bottle of wine. Really nice experience, service, just them accommodating me for the fact that I don't speak Korean. So brought out the English speakers and food was on point. Ambiance was great, hospitality. The only thing I didn't like was the fact that they make you buy a bottle of wine and the wine isn't like cheap cheap you know like the cheapest bottle starts at like 65 usd 
So it's it's a little whack that they make you buy a bottle of wine, but I'm still happy with like the experience. How do I and say? I do recommend the place. The place is definitely worth a visit for sure. Just to chill there, you kind of want a bottle, even if like there isn't that rule in place. Very great experience. I definitely do recommend it. That place is called On 6.5. For dinner, we are going to steak omakase. First time doing a steak omakase, so I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect, really. Lots of different cuts of beef, and they're probably going to really push the envelope when it comes to what to expect using beef as protein. We're going to womb, madame. So sorbet is fire. Everything was just cooked perfectly and then like just the truffle salt and the mustard and the fresh I like wasabi. The mustard, I, love I don't know, this was a new experience for me, so I know I kinda like this more than like the sushi omakase. Yeah. Reasonably priced, yeah. Horrible like compared to yesterday. And then a lot of um, a lot of people celebrating their birthdays here, right? Yeah. And then they were like making like a birthday, you know? Yeah. Like plates. That's really sweet. And taking their picture too. Yeah. At right, lunch, we're eating jajangmyeon. I always joke about me and my girlfriend being jajangmyeon because I'm Chinese and she's Korean and this is a Chinese-Korean dish. So we're gonna go. I ate jajangmyeon a couple weeks ago and it was trash, so hopefully this will redeem itself. Jajangmyeon. no? This is the sauce. Radish. Soy vinegar, jampong, jajangmyeon. Look at that. Fried egg. Oh yeah. What? I asked you. Thank you for asking. Portion is insane. Last 
tapping out. This is just too much. I think we accidentally ordered the larger portion. Look at how much noodles I'm leaving behind. And you too. Oh my god. Oh my god, we just left the jajangmyeon place and the hamonis and the ajashis, they killed the, the big ass bowls of jajangmyeon. I literally left like probably half, or close to half. And then so did the lady. We, I mean, I don't know how you can eat that much carbs. Every bite is like so repetitive. So like I started getting tired of it too, actually. Why? It's so much, you know? Yeah, but people finished it. Yeah, people actually finished it. I'm surprised. We're back in one of my favorite areas and we're eating sashimi for lunch. I think it's trashi. Trashi though? Basically like sashimi over rice is what they're known for. So I'm ready to smack some uni, some chutoro, some ikura. I didn't look at the prices, but is it pricey here? The bowl is like 20, 20 to like 20, 20 to 30 for a bowl. I think it's between this. I don't want the shrimp. Yeah, what about this one? Uni and... There's no chutoro. But then this one has no ikura. That looks insane. The lady ordered some uni croquet. More uni, check it out. Mm. Wow. So I'm trading this for the ladies ikura and uni. The wasabi is really spicy. Everything is kind of random to me. Just came out. So basically each bowl is about 33 US dollars. At this time, no, that's what. No, 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 not each bowl. We choose no, like that's 45 a, each. No, 45,000. No, no. Not all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we chose the most expensive one, or almost the most expensive. But there are like cheaper. 20. Yeah, there's like a 20,000 one or like 30,000 one, which is like I don't know, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 25 bucks. So we chose the most expensive. That's why. But I still think it's very value because you're getting high quality uni. And then you're getting otoro, not chutoro, my mistake. Scallop. Yeah, the chutoro is even cheaper. So definitely if you're in this area, check it out because it's worth a visit. The music and the like decor was very random. Even the location is very random, wouldn't you say? But hey, I came for the food. We're in Tokpoki town. We're gonna eat some Tokpoki. Shindangdong Tokpoki. Let's go. Is this your first time here? Yeah. These are old Tokpoki. Dong dong, the pokey. That yeah. one over there looks fame. Look, yeah, I mean, there's a line. So pretty. This one got a fat ass line. This place is known for chicken feet. Spicy. <laughs> Korea. You're not Chinese. We had to get takeout because the line is so long. It was 20 teams ahead of us. We just got chicken feet, so we're gonna go eat at a different restaurant. Oh yeah, so we ordered the set for two people. So there's fish cake, ramen, Korean noodle, very chewy, big scallions, manju also. This is perfect. It's just the hearty meal we need. We ordered chicken feet again because we want to eat it hot. Let's eat it without cheese first. We're having this meal and it's not going great. Food tastes. I don't know what this flavor is. I've never had it before. The chicken feet, it literally tastes like mole. What do you call this? Just 
Steppoki. It's bad. Straight up, it's bad. I think it's bad. I think the whole street is like this. Or the restaurant that everyone's waiting at must be like really good. Cause this is mid. I don't even think we're gonna finish this. I don't want to eat anymore. Yeah. Proceed with caution when you enter um, Tepoki Town. I'm still just appalled by how bad the food is here. Cause this is really hard to fuck up, you know? Literally like ramen, fish cakes, tepoki, hard boiled eggs. All you needed is like some water and like literally like a shin ramen packet and you would have been like set, you know? This is so bad that even if you put cheese in it, you know, and cheese can fix a lot, but cheese would not redeem this dish. We're literally like wasting it. Look at how much is left. So bad. The lady didn't eat any of hers. I bit into the mandu and it was like frozen. The lady's gonna finish the chicken, so hats off to her. But yeah, it's cold out, so kind of in the mood for like something soupy, so maybe bude jjigae, which is that was what I was kind of anticipating with this dish, you know? It's something like bude jjigae, but literally the best thing here is the water. So let that just sink in and marinate. So bad. This is pretty funny because there was a, a team that sat next to us and a yeah, a couple. The, the guy went to the bathroom and then... The girlfriend was waiting for him on the table. Yeah, so we we, we told her like, yeah, this, the food here is so bad. Like we left everything and she's like, Jin <laughs> And then just got... like, really? Yeah, she's like, really? <laughs> oh, thank you for telling me. And then she just got up and dipped. Seriously, she just like got up everything? Yeah. She threw out her Jesus back Christ. so quick. Like, I wish someone gave us a heads up, you know? Like... Seriously, nobody tell us. I'm looking around at other people to like just read their facial expressions because... Come on, like there has to be a consensus that the food there is god awful. But I think they're just like there to drink or whatever. It's cheap, but still. But they're but like still. drinking, you know that right? Yeah. I just can't. It was, it was that bad. They were all drinking. I'm still hungry, but I just can't eat that food.